Hello YouTube, my name is Sammy and welcome to Sammy's Workshops. Today I'd like to give you an update on the progress here with our 3D printing. I got my first 3D printer, a TiVo Tarantula, a Cartesian style printer, back in the fall of 2018. I made a couple of videos on it and I will put some links to those in the description down below. Life kind of got in the way and got me sidetracked from that new hobby. I got back to it in the beginnings of 2023 when I found a couple of deals on a couple of Ender 3 V2s and a pair of Ender 3 Pros. Now many folks would ask, why not get a resin printer? You get way better detail. And I can't argue with that, you do. However, I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and in the summertime it gets extremely hot outside. 110 degrees or better last year for more than 100 days in a row. Working outside or in my garage, that's not a good idea. So bringing a resin printer inside, it does create toxic fumes and you have to vent them to the outside. I couldn't find a good way to do that without compromising my home's heating and cooling uh, environment, so that wasn't going to work. Also, even if you're using the water-based resins, you still have some toxic chemicals to deal with regarding the leftovers, and that's kind of a difficult thing to do right here in my city. So, um, you know, a, a resin printer just wasn't going to work out for my needs. I also checked um, into a lot of gaming channels, people that are into Dungeons and Dragons and the such, and who print their own figures and dungeon details for building those, for, you know, playing those games. Um, they were getting an awful lot of really good results from FDM-style printers, the Cartesian-style printer that I had gotten before, and many of them were using the Ender 3 products and getting great results and provided um, all kinds of slicer settings and some basic modifications to do to the printers. And so that's the way I decided to go. Plus, I found some really great deals on them. Now, I didn't want to spend forever modifying the units because that's a whole hobby all unto itself. But a few certain basic modifications uh, beca I became aware of the ones that would be really helpful after viewing dozens and dozens of these gamer, mod uh, gamer videos on printing their things. So that those basic modifications seemed a good choice. Those are a metal extruder, which is available from Ender, Capricorn tubing for the filament tubes, and some filament guides and uh, ball bearing rollers to reduce, um, um, what is it called? It's um, under extrusion, sorry. Um, and uh, a few basic things, a few basic other items, you know, just to bring them a little better up to speed. Again, keeping it all very basic and not spending a lot of time doing those things. First prints, I got the accessories done on the first printer in orange. Um, so I named it Rio, uh, as in Rio Grande. Uh, their colors were black and orange. Second one was, I had gray filament handy, so it became Gandalf the Gray. That seemed appropriate. Yep, I'm a geek. I'm into sci-fi and trains. What can I tell you? Uh, they didn't take long to build and dial in, and prints started coming out very quickly. Next video, we'll do uh, some talking about playing with the STL files, ways to orient the files on the build plate so you get a decent print. Sometimes you have to split them into two pieces. Uh, etc etc um, you know you want to make a, a good looking model and uh, get them just right thanks so much for watching um, I appreciate it and uh, be sure to like and subscribe make a comment down below if you like uh, let me know what you'd like to see me print um, I do take requests on occasion and uh, till next time we'll see ya